Engaging millennials and the Gen Zs in the workplace, how to harness their talent in building corporate Nigeria. All right, so let me start by quoting a theory put forward as captured in a report called The Greatest Generation Def um, Definition. Um, the American generations covered in the theory are um, greatest, we call one the greatest generation, born circa 1901 to 1924, um, silent generation circa 20, 1925 to 1945, baby boomers circa 1946 to 1964, generation X circa 19, 1965 to 1985, and then generation Y or millennial generation circa 1985 to 2000. Please note that circa is a Latin word meaning about or around or approximately, so you can just replace that. Focus of my um, today's advocacy is on the millennials and the Generation Z or Gen Z. According to an article published by the Journal of Applied Leadership and the Management entitled Comparing Generation X and Generation Y on their preferred emotional leadership style, Generation Y, often referred to as millennials, Nexus or Next Generation, um, happen to be the youngest generation in the current workforce before the influx of a new breed called Generation Z or Gen Z. I refer to another article titled Millennials versus Gen Z, Key Differences in the Workplace and published by ADECO USA and I quote, a member of Gen Z is anyone born between 1996 and the early mid 2000s, um, 2000s or, um, and the end date can actually vary depending on the source. According to a report published by Kasasa on Gen X, Gen Y and the Gen Z, Gen Z birth years span from 1997 to 2012, which is um, clearly after 1996. A flurry of potential labels and the nicknames have been um, appearing, including Gen Tech or Post Millennials, I Generation, Gen Wi Fi, Homeland Generation, and Zoomers. Now, Generation Z, therefore, are the Post Millennial Generation. It is estimated that 50% of the current Nigerian workforce are millennials and even Gen Z in most tech firms. Now, the big thing is that managing them may become one of the most challenging tasks in today's workplaces. Older managers, many of whom are baby boomers who were born between 1946 and 1965, and Gen X, who were people born between 1965 or 66 to 1981 or 85 depending on the source. They perceive millennials as arrogant, insubordinate, impatient, too inquisitive, lazy, careless, and unorganized. Others believe they have an entitlement mentality. They hate to be coached or worst still, they hate to be bossed around. They have um, title, um, little or no regard for rules and policies, and are generally unsteady. Now, despite the above stated perception, millennials can be an asset rather than a liability. So the big question of national importance on the mind of most organizations should be, post-COVID-19, how can corporate Nigeria harness, harness the talents embedded in millennials and Gen Zs? I will address this from several touch points. Number one, culture. Culture, they, they say, it's strategy for breakfast. So if you do not get millennials and Gen Zs to buy into the corporate culture, then every strategy you have will fall flat. Culture needs to stop having mythical or esoteric feelings. The millennials must be able to associate with the prevalent um, culture and see how they can align with it as future leaders. The culture bandwidth must be extended to include collaboration, integration, experimentation, growth, openness, inclusion, diversity, teamwork, etc. Number two, leadership. In the absence of millennial role models, senior management must be intentional about embodying, uh, embodying setting critical values like innovation, flexibility, belongingness, um, empathy, job rotation, openness, and constructive feedback, including digital learning, humanity, inspiring trust, sense of accomplishment, adaptation to change, passion for learning, continuous engagement, respect for the individual, etc. Can corporate Nigeria come up with a realistic career building plan and leadership development plan um, that transform 
these set of workers into transformational, transgenerational leaders. The third point I have here is um, collaborative vision casting. Up until now, um, vision casting has been the exclusive preserve of top management. However, to prevent corporates from becoming dinosaurs, millennials must be involved in big picture thinking by making sure that they understand um, corporate culture, leadership, and the vision. I'm, go I'm just going to, I'm take it. Go. Okay. I'm going to take it right from where you... Let our millennials... Yeah, yes, let's start from our millennials. Um, the culture part is the one that got me. Yeah. Any culture that is outdated, we will replace with efficiency and um, effectiveness. We, we, do, we do not care because most of these organizations have outdated culture that is mm. not contributing anything to the KPIs we need to be tracking. Like mm. We don't care. Take it back home, take it, leave it in your family house. We do not care. Mm. And Gen Z's do not care. Exactly. They will not, not care. care. At <laughs> least millennials will still do it in a respectful way. Mm. And to this end, Gen Z will outrightly tell you, I don't care. So exactly. um, I feel like outdated cultures in workplaces need to go out. Bring, bring in more millennials, bring in Gen Z's, but they will holler with the Gen Z's because I was here having this conversation. This was your Gen Z's case. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, interesting seeing now. a millennial <laughs> now being on Gen Z's <laughs> case. Because they will holler with those ones is that uh, they are very, very touchy mm. and they are very, very outspoken, yeah? Yes. They are very outspoken and very yeah. touchy. Yeah. A Gen Z will tell you, all right, I can't come to work today. I'm, I'm mentally down. Very yeah. international resilience. Like, yeah. yeah. they yeah. so very, they're very touchy. So I don't, I'm not going to be speaking much on them because, like, we've experienced Gen Z at our work. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, okay. I'm yeah, just, I know. I'll, I know. I'll stick to the millennials for now because, oh, yeah. So, yeah. I just, yeah I mean, That's I so, such the a, time. like, a refreshing view to hear from like a millennial exactly. to the Gen Z. Yeah. But I think you, you, you really drew on some really interesting points. So for me, I get confused by all this Gen X, Gen Y, Gen... Me, I don't think like that. Now the person in front of me, I can see. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the thing is that with the younger ones, I don't know what Gen... But they're younger than me, Sha. Yeah. Always there has... We have to train them in etiquette. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. If you're running late, call that you're running late. Be mm -hmm. on time. Mm -hmm. Those basic things. How to write, mm -hmm. you know, an email. I mean, we don't write letter. Mm -hmm. How do you write an email? How do you mm -hmm. construct? So there's some really basic things that really we've had to teach every person in their 20s mm -hmm. that we've worked with. Mm -hmm. And that isn't their fault. That's an, of the fault of our educational system. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But those are things that I notice in the, in the younger generation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, please, we should, we should get rid of the old, old, old ways because yeah. let's, let's say what it is. Let's, this, our youth are not lazy, mm -hmm. but if we have 40%, I think, unemployment in this country, who do you think it's hitting? Mm -hmm. What do you expect them to be doing? What jobs are available for them? Mm -hmm. So they're the ones going out, risking it all, starting new businesses, hustling, okay. doing all that because... Yeah. Country has not provided anything for them. So mm -hmm. me, I'm, a, I'm for the younger ones, and I would never consider them lazy. Mm -hmm. What's unfortunate is, again, they're not really valued for the, for the input that they're putting. Because the, the, the president, God bless him, can wake up one morning and ban their source of income. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And yet, you want to say they're lazy, but mm -hmm. they're hustling. They're doing using the technology, the new technologies that are at hand to build... A sustainable environment for themselves and their colleagues yeah. and in one strike someone can wake up and decide it's not yeah. it's not done but you haven't put anything in place okay. for them yeah. so f for me i don't look at it as there's something wrong with it. all of us have our issues every generation whatever mm -hmm. generation you pick Absolutely. yeah the issue is that yes we do have to teach them some certain cultures mm -hmm. that must continue mm -hmm. but we need to allow them the space to to be able to eat yeah, exactly. right. Because we haven't put anything in place. They've been robbed. Yeah. They've been robbed, literally robbed of their future. Yeah. yeah. But yet they're still hopeful. Mm -hmm. Yet they're still trying. Mm -hmm. Yet they're still positive. Yeah. yeah. So we need to support them, support them in any way we can. And of course, we have to let them know when they're when they're yeah. not so doing they're right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. I think that it's been able to draw the critical balance. So on one hand, to be quite honest with you, I won't say let's flush out the old people. 
-hmm. entirely. Mm -hmm. Because there's some level of, ex there's no amount of money you can pay for experience. Mm -hmm. So in some cases, in some cases, <laughs> you know, we, we need that experience. Sure. We need some of that um, culture, like you said, that we need to pass mm -hmm. down. Some cultures are still relevant. They're mm -hmm. still useful. They're still valuable mm -hmm. in the workplace. You know, however, you know, this is a personal experience. Oh, I mean, I, have, I run a marketing firm and 90% of our staff are Gen Z. Okay. I have personally have to unlearn a lot of things mm -hmm. and relearn their language, relearn their culture. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, like they say, culture is strategy for breakfast. That's one of my mm -hmm. favorite quotes, as a matter of fact. I'm so big on culture. Mm -hmm. because, but it starts from the, the company organization asking themselves the question, what is our vision? What do we want to achieve? Mm -hmm. I say to my clients, one of the biggest mistakes you can make is not evolve. Mm -hmm. you, know the story, you know the Blackberry story? Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. They said, oh, you know, we did nothing wrong. No, you didn't do... The problem is you did nothing. Yeah. Mm. When everybody was moving, you were not moving. You stayed where you were. Mm -hmm. So companies, organizations must learn how to evolve. And part of evolving is including the younger generation into your plan. So what you said about strategy. I mean, now this is where I everybody to talk. It will shock you what insight mm -hmm. a 14-year-old, mm -hmm. an 18-year-old, would have on your overall strategy. Yeah. So you think you have this great strategy going forward, you're ready to go to markets. And then this ACM will just come and tell you, sir, what if you, you know, just tweak this thing and just yeah. changes everything. Yeah. So I think it's achieving the balance. You know, getting experience, you know, is important, but also getting the younger people with you know fresh ideas, with fresh insights, but also very important, there's also training that is required. Mm -hmm. I know that how much you have to do in terms of something as simple as just send a text when you're running late. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't deliver this on time. Just say in advance. Don't wait for me to ask you. You know, so there, there are things that, you know, and discipline is important as well. You know, we can't throw that away. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, so, I, yeah. I, I, I thank you very much. I, I believe we are all, I think the older generation, whether it's baby boomers or Gen <laughs> X, they are like people hawking, still hawking the disc, the floppy disc, mm -hmm. or at best, the, um, the what do you call it? Is this the, CDs? No, 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 no. Yeah, maybe the CDs. Mm. But there's a generation that is hawking, you know, soft music. So mm. we need to come to that place where we synergize, mm -hmm. all right? Um, so going forward further, Tonya is pointing out a rising crisis. And um, we'll be back with Tonya after the break. <laughs> 